Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this particular screencast we are going to take a look at the multi-peer connectivity framework in the iOS 7. Now this is the first part of the series uh, and in this I'll show you that how you can set up your advertiser as well as how you can set up your browser. Okay so let's go over and see the interface for this. Uh, let's go over and run it and you'll see it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a card exchange application. There's an exchange button. Once you click the button, uh, nothing basically happens at this point. So what we would like to do is to show the advertisers who are advertising their service that, hey, we can accept a card. And the browser will be the person who is just browsing for different advertisers. Okay. Now this will be uh, a little bit long screencast um, since I have to set up everything. Also, for this to run smoothly, you need to have two devices. Now, one of the devices can be the simulator, as uh, I launched, and the other device has to be a physical iPhone, okay, uh, so that you can make one of them advertiser and the other one as the browser. Uh, so hopefully I'm, I'm going to use the reflector app to reflect the actual physical device that I have and I have iPhone 5 so we can use that. So let's go ahead and uh, imp uh, start implementing. So we have this uh, uh, constant, it's called case service type and uh, so let's go ahead and define that constant over here, K service type. So this is just the name of the service and we are just going to say uh, card exchange. It can be any name, it can be, uh, but it has to be in lowercase. So there we go. So we have defined the name of the of the service. Okay. The other thing that we need is, of course, the multi-peer connectivity framework, which is, uh, you know, multi-peer connectivity. And the great thing is that we're using the at import, which will also import the required assemblies and everything, required frameworks. Now uh, we're just going to define a browser as well as actually the advertiser. So this is the advertiser assistant. Now there are multiple ways of doing this. Uh, so this one, this one that I'm showing you is an easy way that will uh, pull up a basically a default screen for the browser as I'll, I'll show you later. So here we go. This is the advertiser. Um, we also have to have the uh, session. A session is basically a session is created between uh, advertiser and the browser. So when you start advertising, you're creating a session. Okay. And once a browser comes, once a person comes and he says, hey, you are advertising a card service. I want to send you my card. And then that person joins your session and then sends you the card and then you receive the card. So that's the, the basically the, the workings of the session. So we have the advertiser defined. We have the session defined over here. Uh, let's go to the did finish launching with, with options. And we're just uh, going to start advertising. So this is, the, of course, the custom method that we are implementing. Start advertising. And in this case, we, we do need a name for the advertiser as well as a browser. Um, so how will they, you know, well, not really the browser, but the advertiser, we need a device name. So what we are going to do is we're going to say UI device, current device, and then we're going to say the name. MC peer ID. Now peer is every, like if, if you're advertising your peer one or you, you create one peer, if you are a browser connecting to the advertising service that I'm providing, like a card exchange service, photo transfer service, so you're joining my session to give me your photo, then that will be peer two. So we're just going to create a peer over here and we are going to use it in it with display name and assign the device name as the peer name. And now it's time to get the session out. Session is MC session allocation. And then uh, session takes different things. We can see the peer ID. So we're just going to provide the peer ID, the security identity. Um, actually, we don't really want to use this one at this point. 
the easiest one to use is the one with the peer ID. And then of course we have to uh, set up the advertiser, MC Advertiser Assistant, which makes things easier for us to start advertising and connecting with other uh, browsers. In it with service type, so this will be K service type. Discovery info is when, once it, uh, the advertiser gets discovered, what uh, other things you want to send from the browser. Uh, so this is the, and then we are session, self.session that we just created. And then self.advertiser, uh, and then we can start advertising. And that's pretty much it. If you use this approach, that is pretty much it. You start advertising. Okay. Now, if I go over here, um, this is the exchange method that is already uh, basically already attached to the exchange button that I show you. So once I click this button, I need to display a list of advertisers that are advertising for a particular service. So in order to do that, once again, you have the easy way, which is using the MC. Oops, uh, so let's go ahead and import that. Import and multi-peer connectivity framework. And then we can say MC browser view controller, browser view controller, and MC browser view controller. And then we can have with the init with service type. So service type will be K uh, service type and um, delegate dot session. Okay. Now, uh, in order to get that, we need to get the stuff from the app delegate. So I'm just going to import app delegate over here. And I'm going to go over here, app delegate, delegate app delegate and then uh, well we're not going to do it like that we're going to use a UI application shared application and then just going to say delegate and let's go ahead and convert it to app delegate so there we go so we get the delegate and we get the browser view controller over here um, if we want to present this, we're just simply going to say present the view controller, which is browser view controller animated, yes, and completion. We're just not going to do anything over here. All right, let's go ahead and run this and see if it encounters any bugs or anything. So here's a browser view controller. Now, this is the built in controller that you see. Uh, this is the uh, basically a handy controller. Uh, and it will have this particular look and feel to it. Now, if you do want to change the look and feel to it, then you have to go to a completely different route, which I won't discuss in the in these particular uh, screencasts, maybe later in the future. But it has two methods. You can say the cancel and uh, done. And when once you see the advertisers, it, they're going to be shown over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, run this on the iPhone, like the physical iPhone that I have, and let's see if I can... Uh... So now it's installed on the iPhone, and advertiser, of course, start instantly. Uh, let's, let me see if I can start this. And there we go. So we already see my iPhone, and let me see if I can pull this up. Using AirPlay, I'm just going to reflect what's going on. So here's actually my iPhone, my physical iPhone that I'm using. And you can see now that there's an iPhone simulator because both of them are starting the advertise, uh, like advertising for their service once they, once they launch, right? So uh, this one is also advertiser and this one, the physical iPhone, this is a physical iPhone, this is also an advertiser. So both of them are advertiser. Both of them uh, are using the... Uh, the same service name which is the card exchange service and that is how they are able to locate each other and this one which is a simulator it reads the uh, the device name which is Muhammad's iPhone which is the physical device and this of course is actual physical device like it doesn't really 
cancel right now but it reads the the simulator that is running and it shows the iOS or iPhone simulator so that's it that's the first part of it now the next part of course will be to connecting to sending an invitation to the advertiser that hey you have this card exchange service I want to connect to that service later the advertiser will accept or reject the service in our case most probably will accept the request from the browser and then the card uh, whatever the data we are transferring it will be transferred to the uh, to the advertiser okay so that's pretty much it I hope you like this uh, tutorial and stay tuned for more thank you very much